load shedding mm. obviously has been a huge topic mm. um, on News24 and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's affecting people in different ways. Um, yeah. Yesterday we did a report on how it's affecting service providers mm. from a health point of view. The health dangers. Oh, I mean, uh, we all would you like to explain some of those? Yeah, we all complain about load shedding. We know the traffic is worse. We know we can't use the internet. We can't watch TV. But there are some real dangers to load shedding mm. um, from sort of all spheres of health. So from a hospital point of view, all hospitals really do have generators. So you're not going to sort of have the lights go off halfway through a surgery. Mm. But there are other issues. So things like fridges will go off. Uh, the refrigerators that contain vaccines and medications, if, they, if those aren't cared for, those can become denatured and useless. Yeah. Uh, you've got things like just a slowing down of the administration process, which can result in things getting lost, mm. important p papers not being filed. A lot of small issues there, but the real issues are really at home. Um, obviously, the obvious things like uh, if it's dark and you fall down the stairs, that's not very good. And mm. if it's incredibly hot and you can't use a fan or air conditioning, mm. it can cause some serious health dangers. Mm. And then there are people who rely on electricity. If you've got a dialysis machine or a nebulizer, yeah. and then you really need to be prepared. And that's where it comes down to reading the schedules, staying on top of what stage we're in, and making sure you've got backup batteries or everything is charged. Or if you need someone there that you've told someone, you need to be here because I've got a health situation coming on. Mm. Uh, what have your readers been saying? Um, mm. I mean, sort of personal accounts? None yet, fortunately. A lot of complaints. Um, but as a whole, I think the one good thing about this is that it has been well communicated to the people. So people mm. are aware. Um, and they do seem to know that if there's not going electricity, this is what runs off electricity. But there are bound to be cases coming up that we don't know. I know of one guy who broke his foot. He couldn't see in the dark and he kicked a box. But he blamed his cat for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing, but... <laughs> no. But um, there are, there are going to be some serious cases yeah. that are bound to come along in the next few months. Um, and again, it comes down to really just being prepared and being aware. Mm.